So Bestival kind of came about from a, a club night that I'd been doing called Sunday Best. Festivals were just kicking off in the UK and we thought, hey, let's, let's give it a go. And six months later, we were opening the doors on our first festival called Bestival. A lot of people come to Bestival and say they could have come to Bestival and not seen any bands or DJs and still have had an amazing time. So it's, it's a lot about fun and escapism and the magic of um, spending time with, with people in a field or in a festival. So magic, fun, escapism, that's, uh, that's Bestival. We are coming to Canada. We are so excited about finally launching across the pond. Toronto, you know, we are so excited to come over to see you guys and hopefully show you some of the best of all magic. Um, we've got a stellar cast of, of acts, you know, it's our first year and I think we've done amazingly well to get headliners, uh, Florence and the Machine and Nas, and then, you know, amazing acts from um, Caribou to Rudimental to Clean Bandit. I think, you know, if you try and describe the bill, it's everything from, you know, folk and indie music through to techno, trap, um, you know, the idea is that you can listen to a really thoughtful kind of uh, folky act and then you go and get crazy in a tent for two hours and dance your socks off to some sweaty rave music. I think fancy dress is a, is a really big thing in the UK, not just at festivals, you know, as soon as you're three or four you start getting dressed up in Spider-Man outfits or Superman or whatever or fairy wings and it's, it's sort of part of the UK culture, I think. At Bestival specifically, you know, we launched it in the first year of Bestival. We thought, how can we stand out from the crowd? I know, let's have a little fancy dress party. So started off as a tiny thing, but actually pretty much half the crowd turned up straight away dressed up for the occasion. Last year's theme for Bestival was Desert Island Disco. We had Nile Rogers playing, we had loads of disco legends uh, down there. We thought, how can we sort of represent disco what is the biggest disco icon? So we thought, a mirror ball. So we've set about building the world's biggest disco ball. We broke the world record. We came in at something like 10.8 meters. And uh, yeah, we've still got it. We very much hope to bring it to uh, Bestival Toronto one day and have a giant disco over there. There you go. That is a little bit of a potted history about Bestival. Can't wait to get to Toronto Islands in June and unveil our magic party for you. We'll see you on the islands then.